Hi, uh, my name is Amla Kubikis Shetty. Uh, I live in Denver, Colorado. Uh, I am originally from Ethiopia. I was trained as an English teacher in Ethiopia. I did my first degree uh, in foreign languages and literature, uh, English major and French minor uh, at Addis Ababa University. Um, I also did my uh, master's degree uh, at the same university in teaching English as a foreign language, um, which is uh, known as TEFL. Um, having um, this background, uh, I was teaching English at various levels, uh, at elementary, secondary, and uh, tertiary levels. Um, my longest service was at Hausa University. I taught English there um, over ten, for over 10 years. Um, uh, recently, I switched to translation, especially um, after I left the university uh, just for uh, PhD studies, which I quit, um, unfortunately, for personal reasons. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and then um, translation has been my major, um, my major business. Um, and uh, until now, I, I do translation from English into Amharic. And I really love uh, translation and I do it out of passion. Um, I have translated uh, texts in several um, fields. I mean, uh, education, uh, Kate, uh, uh, kindergarten to um, 12th, uh, 12th grade, uh, and marketing, um, IT, telecom, uh, healthcare, uh, what have you. Uh, I have, I have uh, translated, uh, without ex exaggerating, uh, millions of words. Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, uh, I also have written um, a book, uh, which is um, for which is very useful for uh, the diaspora children here, the Ethiopian diaspora children. It's entitled Amharic for Foreigners and uh, the Ethiopian Diaspora. Uh, I can briefly show you uh, the the cover page and then a little bit of the content um, uh, so you can just see what it is and what it is about. And um, you can also uh, uh, go and check it at Amazon.com. Uh, so uh, give me just a, a fraction of seconds. Thank you. Okay, uh, here I come back with um, the cover of the book. It is Amharic for Foreigners and the Ethiopian Diaspora from Beginner to Intermediate. Um, so it is um, a book that is um, uh, written out of uh, the practical experience. Uh, in a sense, in, by practical experience, I mean uh, I use the materials, um, I mean, I developed the materials for my own learners, for my, my own Amharic uh, students. Uh, so I compiled all the materials that I used to teach my students and um, compiled it, it, it into uh, such a book. And it is practically tested. It's a practically tested book. So. Um, uh, just now again, I, I will briefly take you to um, uh, the contents. Okay, uh, here is the uh, content. Um, uh, it just tells you about uh, who is the audience, who is the target audience, and why did I write this book. And then it tells you um, um, about the language, uh, how the language works. And it just starts with um, introducing you uh, to basic uh, units uh, of measurement and currencies in Ethiopia, and then the geographical information, and the writing system, and the Amharic alphabet. It, it starts there. So the actual learning starts in, in, in there. Uh, once you learn the alphabet, like the Hahu, um, and then you could um, easily uh, teach yourself um, um, the rest of the the rest of the language. I mean, 
basically the tool for learning and hack is the alphabet. Uh, once you identify the ship and the sound of every uh, letter in the alphabet, then you are good to uh, read and write. Despite that, you may you may not understand the uh, the uh, meaning and you may not um, write it uh, grammatically, but you can really read and write, and that's the basic thing. And then it just teaches you the punctuation system and the foreign okay, or intriguing words, the pronunciation, uh, the pronunciation, and the verb to to be and verb to have and the jobs. Uh, I mean names. Uh, of professions and occupations or jobs, countries and nationalities, greetings and calendar, time, body parts, health, shopping, traveling, what have you. It just is um, a great book which in, uh, gives you practical uh, examples and tools to learn uh, the language. Um, and just if I just run through the um, alphabet, there you go. Here is the alphabet. So it is there, uh, and the alphabet is put in a way that any, anyone who has um, English background uh, understands um, them. So you have the h, the consonant sounds, and the vowels on this side, on the top. So um, if you combine the, this and um, this, for example, you just make, get a sound he. So ha. Um, who, he, ha, let me just repeat, who, he, ha, he, he, ho. And the rest of the letters, it's very patternical. Uh, I mean, the, um, the pattern is just the same for all of the letters. So if you just identify the first letter and then the, the next variations uh, will be the same as the previous one. So you say um, le, so you have here, and then you add the u sound, and you say lu, and then you have you have uh, you add the e sound, and you say li, and you say la, le, le, lo. That's it, and that way you just teach yourself uh, reading and writing because the the good thing about learning Amharic is that. Um, the shape and the sound of the letter doesn't change anywhere it, uh, in, the, in, in actual use. So once you study the alphabet, then it, it's no problem for the learner to read and write uh, words. Um, because the shape and the sound of the letter never change um, in, in actual uh, use, in the practical uh, word formation. So the, uh, you will get it on Amazon.com and just uh, buy, enjoy, and let me have your comments. Thank you so much. Um, you can reach me at amlaku.be at gmail.com. Amlaku, A-M-L-A-K-U. Uh, it's right here. Uh, and amlaku, B at gmail.com. I'm laku dot be um, at gmail.com. I'm laku dot be at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Um, and I, I just uh, look forward uh, to your 